I launch a general store that sells 10 viral products and my goal for this challenge was to make at least $10,000 this week with TikTok ads. Just do it! In this video, you will get to see my full strategy so that you can learn how to set up or improve your Shopify dropshipping store. And I do cover some advanced methods such as testing and scaling, CBO and ACO campaigns. I also use a glitch method. Mother of God. Spoiler alert, this challenge was a success so stick to the end because I'll be dropping some insane value you in this video that you won't be seeing anywhere else. So why am I starting a general store instead of a one product store like most dropshippers? Well, I'll tell you three reasons why. Number one, I want to follow Grant Cardone's 10x rule. The 10x rule states that you need to set your goals 10 times higher and then you must take 10 times more action than you think you need in order to achieve your goals. So I figured that testing 10 products will give me a higher chance of succeeding rather than testing only one product. The second reason why is that I wanted to see what would happen if I test 10 products in a general store. Will I find at least one winner or three winners or will all the products fail or will some products result in better CPMs than other products? These are questions that are constantly on my mind and I'm curious to see what would happen. The third reason is I wanted to see what would happen if I put 10 products in a single CBO ACO campaign under the same pixel. That is a setup that I never seen anyone do on YouTube before. I wonder if the CBO campaign is going to optimize and spend most of the money on the best product because if that happens then I think I may discover the best testing and scaling strategy in this video. But there's only one way to find out so let's get this one week challenge started. I first need to find 10 products to sell in my general store. The product criteria are viral products in the last 3 months that could sell for at least $30 to $50 and has a wow factor or be a problem solver. So I'm gonna head over to TikTok to do some research and make a list of product ideas. Alright, so I found the 10 products and here's a quick look on what I plan to sell. Now I need to build a general product store so here's a quick time lapse and I'll go over the website after it's done. Alright, so I finished the website, I called it amazing.com. This is the homepage, it's quite nice and easy to navigate. I'm using the free debut fight theme, but what's more important is the product page. So here's an example of the product page. Starting from the top, we got at least four product images which I edited on Canva. We got the product name and price here. I'm using an app called Estimated Delivery Time to show the estimated delivery dates like Amazon. This would help increase the conversion rate. I'm also selling multiple quantities. This would help increase the average order value. This is the product description. As you can see, I took my time to build a nice product description. And below I have a FAQ section and customer reviews from the app called Looks. I think that's enough work for day one. Tomorrow, I gotta get videos for all these products. It's day two of the one week challenge. My goal is to hit at least $10,000 in revenue by the end of the week, so there's still a long way to go. The next thing I need to do is get videos for the 10 products. I want to have three video ads for each product, so in total, I need 30 videos. Now that's definitely a lot of videos that I need in such a short amount of time, but luckily I have a solution. I'm going to outsource the work and hire somebody to make the 30 videos for me. I recommend using Dropify ads to get the best high converting video ads for your product. My favorite thing about Dropify ads is that they use hot girls to shoot UGC style videos with your product and that converts really well on TikTok. They also take care of scripting, editing, and all you need to do is ship the product to the creator and they handle everything else for you. The pricing is also really cheap, especially compared to everywhere else. You could get three videos for only $120. I'm going to place the first order in front of you guys so you could see how easy it is. All I got to do is answer a few questions, then place the order, then ship a sample product from Amazon. Amazon to the creator with the fastest delivery so that they could shoot the video ads as soon as possible.
Okay, so technically the challenge is already over because I was forced to spend a week waiting for the products to ship from Amazon to the creator and then I had to wait for them to record the videos and edit the TikTok ads, which by the way was really fast and I'm not complaining, but due to not being able to do anything, I still want this to be a one week challenge. So now that Dropify ads sent me the videos, I'm just gonna consider tomorrow as day three, just because it seems fair to do that considering the situation. Alright, so I got the 30 videos from Dropify ads. Let's check them out really quick. <laughs> Okay, so those videos were perfect. I like the scripts they made. I like the editing. And the girl in the videos looked fantastic with the products. Now for the fun part, let's run some TikTok ads. And don't forget, I will also set up the glitch method later on, so keep watching. Let's begin with the CBO ACO campaign to test the 10 products. So first create an ad and then click on conversions. I'm gonna rename this to test campaign. I'm gonna turn on campaign budget optimization and I'm gonna set the daily budget to $1,000 per day. Quick note, you don't need to set your budget this high when starting out. A $300 CBO daily budget is good enough. I'm just doing it this high because I'm limited on time for this challenge. Now I'm gonna click continue. For the ad group name, I'm just gonna put the product name in there. So first I'm gonna start with the jellyfish lamp, choose website and then select the pixel. I'm gonna be using the same pixel on all 10 products and I wanna optimize for complete payment. I'm gonna choose select placement and uncheck these and then I'm gonna go into advanced settings and turn both of these off. I definitely want to turn on automated creative optimization because I have three creatives per product. For locations, I'm just going to choose United States and for languages, I'm going to choose English. Now for this ad group, since we're dealing with the jellyfish lamp, I'm going to keep the gender open because it's not a gender specific product and I'm going to choose the ages 18 to 55 plus. But let's say you have a female only product, you definitely want to change that in the ad group. For interest and behaviors, I'm not going to do anything here. It's best to leave it open for all 10 ad groups. I like to day part my ads from 10 a.m. all the way to 12 and for bidding and optimization I'm just gonna keep that the same and then click next now I'm going to upload the three creatives for the jellyfish lamp and I'm only gonna add one simple text line which reads get your jellyfish lamp shop now now I need to copy and paste a product page link and slap that there and the last thing I want to do is choose the button I like to only use the shop now button all right everything is done here so now I'm gonna click submit so I just submitted the ads it's in review in the meantime I'm gonna set up the other nine ad groups I'm just gonna duplicate this ad group nine times and then go into each one and then switch out the products here's a quick time lapse Now that I set up the campaign with the 10 ad groups, I'm just gonna wait for this to spend and I'll check back in tonight. I'm hoping that the CBO and ACO campaign does a good job testing everything and find me some winners. Really interesting results for the first day running ads. The store made $1,545 in revenue today from 33 orders. The conversion rate was 1.98%, which is not bad for the general store. And the average order value was $46.07 since people were buying in multiples. Some customers even browsed around the website and purchased other products, which is a cool benefit of running a general store. Here's how the TikTok ads performed. Not bad. I did find a few winning products, which was the purpose of this campaign. As you can see, some ad groups had around $5 CPMs and around $0.35 cent cost per clicks and generated sales which is a good sign that I should scale. The rest of the ad groups performed poorly on this ad account. I'm gonna kill the products that performed high CPM, CPCs, and CPAs. It's so interesting to see that some products are performing way better than others. That just shows your products and creatives really do matter. Testing is so important when doing this. Since I spent $1,000 today, I definitely have more than enough data to help me start scaling the winning products. Now I have two ways to scale this. The first way is that I could either scale the traditional way by increasing the daily budget and spend money only on the winning ad groups that I found. Or the second way is that I could set up the glitch method which is a black hat strategy that tricks the TikTok algorithm to help make my ad cost 5 to 10 times cheaper. I usually get around 10 cent cost per clicks and $1 CPMs with the glitch method. It's literally the best scaling strategy that I know. Lots of people are having success with the glitch method this year. So obviously I'm going to use the glitch method for scaling because I know it will bring me insane results from my experience. Anyways, I'm gonna set up the glitch method campaign so I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so I created the six glitch campaigns. I know these campaigns will go crazy, so I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow. I'll explain later where you can learn how to make these campaigns. 
let's go today i made 2262 dollars with the glitch method and i only spent 600 dollars on the glitch campaigns and got over 50 sales just look at how low these cpms and cpcs are with the glitch method it's absolutely nuts the average cpc dropped to 16 cents and my average cpm dropped to one dollar and 71 cents which is beyond cheaper than what i would have paid for if i continued running the cbo and aco campaign if you want to learn how to set up the glitch method join my discord vip group the link is in the description i'm gonna keep running these ads for the rest of the week i don't think i'm gonna make any changes but i'll update you tomorrow quick update the store is doing great lots of orders are coming in but then i realized i actually need to start fulfilling these orders and i haven't set up the supplier yet now that i know which products are selling i'm gonna install the shopify app called dropship man to link my store with the supplier this app could literally outsource any product for you and they provide pretty good shipping times anyways i'm gonna handle that off camera so i'll see you guys tomorrow it's day six of the challenge today i'm just gonna play fortnite while bumping my glitch campaigns on my second monitor i had some slight spend issues earlier but now everything is working fine it's crazy to think that i'm making a lot of money while sitting here playing the game anyways i'm very excited to break down all the numbers tomorrow so keep on watching if you want to stop me you're gonna have to fucking kill me Ladies and gentlemen, my goal was to hit at least $10,000 this week and I'm proud to say I did it so this challenge was a success. Big shout out to the glitch method. I think it's the main reason why this challenge was successful. My campaigns were getting around 13 cents cost per clicks and $1.80 CPMs. Let's break down the expenses real quick. I spent $1,200 on Dropify ads for 30 videos. I also spent $300 on Amazon for the 10 sample products. Then I spent $1,000 on the initial CBO ACO testing campaign. I spent $1,920 on the glitch campaigns. I also spent $2,450 on product costs. Overall, I'm left with a $3,742.76 profit this week. That's a 35% profit margin, which is above average in this industry. I believe anyone could achieve results like this. You just need to work hard, invest in good strategies, and keep testing until things work out for you. And if you want to learn more about the glitch method or access all my black hat marketing methods and tools, then join the Discord VIP group. The link is in the description. Don't forget, there's also a free chat lounge in the Discord, so anyone is welcome to join. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more crazy dropshipping experiments like this. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.